Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about the reinforced concrete theory. And the question will be uh, determining the reinforced uh, reinforcement of a, a column. Now you can see the figure shown in the screen. And we are going to make this design due to this chart. And so uh, let's solve the question. First, I'm going to specify the design strength of the concrete. FCD is equal to 25. You can see here uh, C25 for concrete is over 1.5 equal to 16.7 megapascal. And for FYD is equal to 420. Here you can see S420. That means that it is uh, 400, uh, 420 megapascal. So we are going to find a design that we are going to use for the construction when we calculate the strength of that. It's going to be it's going to divide uh, one point fifteen because we are uh, we are trying to stay at the safe side. Three six five megapascal. And now we have this. So now uh, let's uh, make this check. Here you can see in the chart, we are going, we are going to make this check. For this check is, this is Russ Carver, D prime. And this is D double prime. So this D double prime over H, here you can see it has to be 0 0.8 to use this chart. And this one you can see, 80 over, sorry, uh, this is double prime. We are going to use the double prime. Uh, one second. And this is going to be uh, 640 over 800 and equal to 0 0.8. So it's okay. So uh, let's find, uh, let's find this axis that we are going to uh, need. And also this axis. For this axis, we are going to use as n over b multiplied with h and multiplied fcd. What is n? n is the n is the normal force. The uh, yes, the actual force that we are going to use is here for yeah four thousand eight hundred kilonewton multiplied ten power three. Because we are going to convert it uh, to Newton and we are going to divide 400 multiplied 800 and multiply 16.7 FCD okay and from this we are going to obtain as 0 0.9 and for this axis let's find the this one and it is also be founded like that Ten power six, four hundred, and multiply it at hundred, eight hundred square, and multiply it sixteen point seven. This will be equal to zero point fifteen, and from this two axes, we are going to obtain a rho tm value. Okay, this is zero point nine here, and this is zero point fifteen here. So. When we uh, get this two point, yeah, we are going to obtain this point, and this is uh, looking like 0 0.45, but we are going to take as rho tm equal to 0 0.5, okay, to stay at the safe at the uh, safe side. Now we uh, determine the uh, rho tm value because look at here. Now we are going to obtain m value. What is m? How is fun? How we find it? It's like that. And then from M, we are going to obtain the rho T value. And uh, due to rho T, we are going to obtain the reinforcement that's going to be used in this section. So rho T M was equal to 0.5, right? And uh, M is equal to F Y D over F C D. This will be equal to uh, 365 over 
16.7 equal to 29, so 21.9. And uh, from this, so I wrote t multiplied 21.9 equal to 0.5. From this, I'm going to obtain rho t is equal to 0 0.023. This is the ratio of steel that's going to be used in this cross section. So, what was the rho t? How we find it? Let's check the chart. Uh, in the axiom, also the chart has to be given, otherwise, you cannot solve this question. So, for this one, rho t. 2s 2as1 plus as2 over bh so this is going to be 2as1 plus as2 over b multiplied h and this is now it's going to be found something like this and b what is b b is 400 and multiply 800 and equal to 0 0.023 and from here to AS1 plus AS2 is equal to 7,360 millimeter square. This is the area of steel has to be used in this cross section. So let's find the reinforcement. Uh, due to this much, uh, this much of uh, uh, area, we are going to use uh, 536. You can use a 532, 530. It depends on you. Uh, but if you use a 530, you have to use more uh, reinforcement, more rebars. But for this one, I'm going to use 536, and for this is going to be one uh, one area. Okay one area of uh, 536 is uh, nearly something like this okay and when i multiplied with uh, 7360 the total uh, steel area okay this is total steel area when i multiplied with 173 i'm going to obtain 7.3 this is the number of number of rebar that's going to be used okay but we cannot use 7.3 so we are going to use 8 rebar 8 536 the rebar that's going to be used it is 8 536 and now you can see we are going to share at this ratio the ratio of lambda as equal to 1.4 how far lambda is found it's going to be this one it is equal to one second lambda is to be equal to 1.4 what is that that is equal to as2 over 2 as1 plus as2 okay from this we can obtain as as2 will be equal to 2 phi 36 sorry i write wrong 2 phi 36 and AS1 will be equal to 3 phi 36. When you write this into this, you are going to update one, uh, 1 over 4. And now the question is solved. We determine the reinforcements that we that will be used in this cross section. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe, share with your friends. I'm going to uh, make the, the continuity of these videos. Thank you for watching. See you for the next question.